All right, hi Fletcher Falcons. Um, I wanted to talk with you today and show you a fun activity that you could do while you're at home. Um, last year with a class, we made um, our very own puppy and snail finger puppets. So um, I'll show you what mine look like. Here's puppy and I can put them on my fingers and I can make them talk. Um, and then I also have snail for you. So we made these last year um, and it was really fun. And one of the things that we did with them was we would act out um, some of the problem solving and some of the calming down strategies that we'd been working on in class. So I know that at the beginning of a lot of our classes, we'll start off with a problem solver. Um, and it can be hard to role play those at home if you don't necessarily have somebody um, to help you role play them. But with these finger puppets, um, you could act out some of those problem solvers between puppy and snail and practice some of the skills we've been working on this year um, for solving those problems. So using your eye messages, um, using positive self-talk, calming down when you have those really strong feelings and making sure that um, you are speaking from um, a place that's calm and not a place that's really angry and frustrated. Um, so this is what they'll look like in the end. All you really need to do this project are um, construction plate paper. I used blue and brown for snail and then just brown and a little bit of red for puppy. Then you'll need scissors, um, a black marker, and a glue stick. That's all you'll need. And I will go ahead after I share this video with you, I'll go ahead and I'll put some scenarios like we've been doing in class below in a link so that if you need some ideas for some problems that puppy and snail could help solve, um, you and a family member could maybe read through those and think about what they would do to solve them. All right, I hope you have fun with this craft and let's get started. All right, so all you need in order to make uh, your very own snail and puppy puppets, finger puppets, are um, a pair of scissors, a glue stick, um, a Sharpie or a marker, black probably, so that you can draw their faces, um, brown construction paper or gray, whatever you like, blue or you could use gray too, um, red, a little piece of red, it doesn't have to be big at all, and then um, some brown for the shell and the ears. I went ahead and I already drew those two things, um, but I'll show you how when we get when when we get to that part. So let's start off with puppy. Just move these out of the way. So the brown piece of paper I'm going to use for puppy, and this is how uh, you start. You take it. Um, have it facing landscape view or horizontal for you, just like this. And you're gonna take these bottom corners, fold them up to the top, hot dog style, make a crease right here, and then you're gonna open it back up. That's it. Then you take those same two corners and you're gonna fold them until they meet that center line. Try and line it up as best as you can, and then do another nice crease. And then you're gonna do the same to the top. So take the top, and you're gonna fold it in until it meets, and crease, another crease. All right, so now you should have um, your piece of paper, and it's folded with these four different parts. Go ahead and keep those doors closed and what you can do from here is fold the whole thing in half again so take the bottom two corners and you're going to fold it in half so that you have this long skinny piece just like this from there you're going to fold that in half so you'll take the bottom fold it up to the top increase along here then you can take, so now you have kind of like a V shape, right? Then you can take this top part and you're gonna fold it down. And these are gonna be the holes where you put your fingers. So you fold it down, do the same to the other side, 
hold it down. Awesome. So now you will have kind of what looks like an M or a W, depending on how you hold it. Um, these parts are closed. And on the back, there should be little pockets, just like this, that you could sneak your fingers in. And that'll be how you make your puppet talk. All right, so since this is puppy, we need to add a few things to make it look like puppy. So I'm gonna set that to the side for now and bring in the ears that I had drawn. So these can look however you want. If you want long and floppy ears, you can draw them like this. But if you'd like them to be shorter and pointier, draw them however you like. I just did um, kind of two long U shapes and then closed it off at the top. So now with that, you'll cut them out. You can hear my puppy crying in the background. <laughs> He wants to go out. So there's one. And here's the other. <laughs> okay, so those are your two ears. And then while we're at it, let's go ahead and add the tongue too. So for the tongue, kind of like the ears, I'm going to do a long U shape and then close it at the top. And then I like to draw a little line in the middle so that it looks like a really cute tongue. So then you're going to go ahead and cut that out too. And there you have it. We've got two ears and a tongue for puppy. So now I want to glue those onto my puppet. And so the way that I need to glue them, because I know that this back part is where my fingers are going to go. So I don't want to glue the tongue in here on the back part because my fingers are going to go there. I want the tongue in here, the front. So the V part of the M, if you can imagine that. I want to glue it in here so that the mouth can open and his tongue will be sticking out right there. So I'm going to take my glue stick. And I'm gonna just put a little dab right here on the end. I don't wanna cover the whole thing because I want a little bit of his tongue to stick out. And then I'm gonna take my puppet, open it up and stick the tongue in right there. Now when I close it, you can see how the tongue sticks out, really cute. All right, now I need to stick the ears on. So I'm gonna take these, Put a little dab just on the edge. And then same thing, see where the tongue is on the bottom? Up here on top, I'm gonna add an ear. Set it down, put a little dab on this side. On the other side, I'll add another ear. All right, we're almost done. We have one step left to do. So I've got the tongue, I've got the ears. Now I need to grab my marker and I'm going to add his face. So puppy, I'm gonna draw two eyes. And a cute little black nose. And there you have it. That's puppy the puppet. So then now that I'm done, I can take my hands and again, put them back in those little pockets and I can make them talk. All right, so now that we've made puppy, it's time to make snail. So snail, you can use blue construction paper or you could use gray, just depending on how you want snail to look. Um, and you're gonna start the same way. So you're gonna fold the blue or gray piece of paper in half, open back up, fold the inside in, fold the other side in, 
and then you're gonna close it just like we did with puppy. So again, fold it in half once, fold the bottom in to meet the middle, fold the top in to meet the middle, and then close it. Now you have this long skinny piece and you're gonna use that and fold it in half and then take the top part down to meet the bottom, just like this. Then flip it over and take the top part down to meet the bottom. All right, so now again, you have that M shape where the closed points are on one side and the open slots are on the other side. So now we've made sort of his body um, and the only other part we need to make for snail is this shell. So that's when the other brown piece of paper comes in and you can just kind of free hand draw a curly cue, that's what I did. Um, you could start by drawing a circle and then bring that loop in to meet the middle or you could just draw a circle, that will work too for snail shell. So then you're gonna cut it out. And then take your glue stick. And what I did with this one was I kind of folded the shell a little just on the bottom to give myself a spot to add the glue. And I added the glue. So now I have the glue on and I'm going to go ahead and take my M. And remember, I don't wanna glue it here because this is his mouth where the closed points are. I wanna glue it back here. So I'm gonna take the part where I glued and just stick it right on the back, right above where I'm gonna put my fingers. So there, now he has his shell, and then I'm gonna just make a little face. So one eye, the other eye, and then a little smile. So there's my snail. And I have the pockets in the back. Put my fingers in and I can make him talk. So there you have it. You've got snail and puppy. Puppets for you to practice at home with. All right, I hope you enjoyed making snail and puppy and I will see you again soon. Bye.